everyone and welcome to our Providence Academy podcast. My name is Chelsea Abbott. I'm the head of our grammar school and with us today we have Mr. Jason Ross. He is the president of Providence Academy and we are just so glad to have you with oh, us. Thank you. Yeah. It's good to be here Mrs. Abbott. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay. Well I've been in education now for 22 years nearly uh, so starting to learn a few things. <laughs> I've um, been at Providence for nearly 14 years. We have four children, my wife Molly and I, who are at Providence, Anessa, Raina, Benjamin, and Alina, and then we also are guardians to Emma. And um, just so thankful for each one of them. And they are flourishing at Providence, they really are. So we have, just for your knowledge, uh, first grade, third grade, fifth grade, and seventh grade represented in our family. That's right. So we've, we've covered a number of the grade levels. That's, you're and, pros. Well, you know, we're getting better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll reserve that word pro, but, <laughs> but we're getting better. Uh, now we're thankful for Providence. We really, really are. The mission here is to partner with parents in a classical and college preparatory education uh, to equip students with a, a biblical worldview, all to God's glory. And so that really resonates with us personally and of course, for me, um, in terms of my profession. So, awesome. glad to be here. Well, we're thankful to have you here today. Um, we are, I can't believe it, but we are gearing up for week 30. No way. Of school, week 30 of school. So we've got about four weeks left in our school year. We have, man, mm. we have ran the race this year. It's been a great year. Um, it has been a great you know, year. at the end of a race, just like you're tired, we're tired. Sure. Teachers are tired and Absolutely. students are tired. Mm -hmm. And mamas, those co-teachers, they are, they're tired. And so you've been in Christian education a long time. You've been at Providence a long time. Um, just based on, with all of your experience, what is just some encouragement that you mm -hmm. would give our teachers and our students and our co-teachers, our families, as we're working so hard to finish out our school mm -hmm. year well absolutely, and finish it out um, just with an attitude of excellence and mm -hmm. a little bit of joy too. Yes, yes. Well, you can finish strong. We can all do that together. Um, you know, it's just, as you said, it's just a fact that everyone gets tired occasionally and about this time of year, um, it's certainly a good possibility that you, you might feel a little bit uh, drained. Um, you know, I would just say, let's just keep our eyes on the prize. Let's keep our eyes focused on that mission that I mentioned, that we are provided the opportunity here to link arms and pour into our children from a biblical perspective the meaning of life, mm -hmm. the value of their own lives and each other's lives. Um, you know, of, of course, a number of content areas uh, that, that have value to them educationally. Right. Um, what a great opportunity. That's right, and I love that you said linking of arms. I feel like that's something at Providence that you don't, because of our model, you don't find that everywhere else. You know, moms, we have each other to lean on right now. You're not the only one feeling you are not. this way. You are Everyone not. is at home going, how many more math lessons do we have to get through? Everyone, yes. Everyone's yeah. feeling that way. And so it really is a sweet reminder, like mm. lean on each other. Let's carry each other's burdens and Absolutely. be uplifting to each other and an encouragement to other people. Mm. So I appreciate that. That's good. Yeah. So the, the mission, let's just keep focused on, on our objective here and uh, the opportunity that we have. It's just a sweet opportunity God's given to us. And like you said, we can, we can encourage each other. So I, I just uh, encourage you um, with the same encouragement I receive myself. My wife receives from the Lord and, you know, just, um, just stay the course, you know, stay mm -hmm. strong in the Lord, keep focused on Him, ask for His grace continually to flow through you. Uh, you can do it and do it well to His glory. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thankful that we have a team. I, I'll tell you, Miss Abbott, when I sat down with um, our teachers personally, you know, teachers that teach our, our children in uh, parent-teacher conferences, I was just so impressed. I know. Well, I really was. The best that we have, the, and I've seen, I've said this before, just with my 
past job and I've seen a lot of teachers teach. I've been yes, in a have. lot of classrooms. Absolutely. And I say with such confidence that we have some of the best teachers that I've ever seen. And I believe we that. are so blessed to have them here at Providence. We are. So if you need a resource, if you um, have a question, you know, as you endeavor to finish strong, be sure to reach out to your, your teachers, right. uh, reach out to administration as needed or desired, and we're here to help you for sure. That's right. You know, I was talking, we got back from spring break, mm -hmm. and it was almost like I was talking to myself as much as I was talking to my kindergartner and second grader that morning of school but mm. okay guys like we've got a few weeks left we're gonna buckle down and we are going to finish strong we're going to do and it was almost like I was like gearing right. <laughs> myself <laughs> up right. just as much <laughs> as I was gearing them up and you know in that moment I thought even even on these days where it's like we're gearing ourselves up, I'm so thankful mm -hmm. to be able to have the opportunity to pour into my kids that way. And I'm so thankful that this school gives me just that time with them and time that I can disciple them through that. You know, like it's Absolutely. not always fun. It's not always easy, but the Lord has called us to this and we're going to joyfully obey. Uh, what such a good word. That's he's right. Called us to do. And um, it was just another reminder, too, that I, as a mom, like my own, in the way that I mother my children, I'm being sanctified mm -hmm. through yeah. this process. And I'm, I'm thankful for that. That's good. That's really good. You know, you said we're in a race earlier. Mm -hmm. you, you used that word. Um, that's really true. You know, it is a race, and it's more of a an endurance race than it is a sprint. You know, I think of marathon versus you know running a hundred yard dash for instance um and so we we just need to keep in mind especially when we get tired that's or right. or feel like i could really use the summer break that's, right. <laughs> that's coming up that's again normal you're not alone in that's that feeling right. but but uh but know that it takes time mm -hmm. it takes time to disciple as you spoke to discipling your child having that opportunity uh, it's not something that happens overnight you know, to do it effectively, to to really um, shepherd them in the faith and, and see spiritual formation uh, occur in their lives, it's going to take months and years, mm -hmm. you know, for that to really um, take root and to transform their lives at, at the level that, that we ultimately want to, right. to reach. You know, the same true same is true, rather, of, of uh, classical education. It takes a little time right. to, uh, to see the... the a full impact mm -hmm. of a classical education. Um, it's a you know, journey. It's a journey. It is. That's a good word for it. It takes a while to, um, you know, for the UMS, for that matter, the university model to um, to reach its full potential, right. you know, as well, in that you have the opportunity to invest your beliefs, your value mm -hmm. system, uh, your heritage uh, into your children. And so again, none of that happens overnight. Mm -hmm. And so let's just endeavor to um, really, like you said, enjoy, mm -hmm. to delight in those moments because they won't be here forever. That's right. And that's a, we all need to be reminded. We all need to be reminded that, of that. I keep saying at the end, the last day of school, when I go home and I go to bed and I tuck my kids in and it's the last day and we've done it, like that is going to be a celebration. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it is going to be not just celebrating the hard work that they have done, but that I have helped them do along along the way of this Absolutely. year. So we are going, man, we are going to celebrate hard. But I also want to be able to like lay my head down that night and be able to know like with certainty, man, I gave it my all mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And um and so that's what i keep telling myself like now when i'm tired like mm -hmm. i want to be able to say i gave it my all and um that i modeled that for my kids and so good. moms just be encouraged we're so close we're so close <laughs> yes we are um let's finish well teachers you just are incredible and um, y'all have worked so hard this year and, absolutely um, we are so thankful for you so thankful and for all of the work and the love and the attention that mm. you pour into our kids every day 
and yes. the, um, how serious you take your job in the ministry that you do do here. So we're close, and we're going to We are. We're strong. almost there. Mrs. Abbott, you made a good point of celebrating. Uh, it caused me to think, you know, I, I endeavor to, to journal and to write down things that, that I just don't want to forget, you know. And I encourage you to do that. Um, you know, the Bible speaks to counting your you know, the Lord's benefits mm -hmm. and, and um, counting your... your um, what's the word I'm looking for counting your um, blessings and and so in doing that it just helps us to be reminded of the importance of what we're doing and why we're doing it uh, keeping the why before us is important when you're just doing the tasks from day to day um, when you're checking the boxes it helps us to to know why again and um, and so I, I encourage you to, to write down the things that you want to remember maybe something that you got to say to your child or they got to say to you uh, maybe something special in the interaction at home, something special in the school day at school that they tell you about that was meaningful to them. Maybe it was something that um, that the teacher said on a given day or that they heard in a chapel service. Mm -hmm. Whatever it may be, capture those moments and be reminded uh, of the value, you know, of, of your journey That's great. for sure. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here with us. Thank oh, you for that for encouraging word. Um, if you're watching, I hope that um, you are leaving this podcast feeling encouraged and uplifted. Um, and just Amen. know that the Lord has equipped you for this and that he has called you to do this job, this worthy work that you are doing. Mm -hmm. And um, Can I add one absolutely. more thing? I've had many... Uh, a Providence parent who said to me when they have a graduate of Providence uh, that you know that they've stayed the course essentially mm -hmm. and seen their child graduate from the school tell other parents when they're in the trenches so to speak mm -hmm. that it is worth it, worth it that they have enforced to me and reiterated to me uh, just year after year uh, how much they appreciate mm -hmm. this uh, the school and the model and I'm not just talking about the school, but just the opportunity again to invest in uh, their child, and and the model allows for that. Allow it. Um, it really permits and encourages, fosters right. the relationship. We talk about building family connections, mm -hmm. building leaders for Christ. That's what we're about here. That's right. And so when we keep that before our eyes again, that um, that should motivate us. That's it really right. should. And again, it's worth it. That's right. So let's, and that was an encourage as someone who's not there yet. Right. That that's an encouragement to me. So let's just try to keep our why in front of us mm -hmm. and finish strong. Um, and like Mr. Ross said earlier, if there's anything that anyone needs, please let us know. Um, but let's finish this school year out strong four more weeks. Um, yes. So we can do it. So thank you for joining us. Thanks for tuning in. And we will see you next time. God bless.